Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. How are you? How All are good. You? All good. Good, good. And how was your day? And um, busy and tired as always. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. And uh, Mondays always tend to be a little bit busier than than the normal day that week. Yeah, how how was yes. how was your uh, weekend? My sorry. How was your weekend? Ah, my weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, tired too. And the Saturday, I mm, go to work to a uh, second work. And Sunday, I went to plant some trees in the Parque Santa Clara. Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay. Wow. So is, is that like um, from like your own initiative or is that from some sort of um, organization that you belong to? Yeah, it's... Uh, it was a part uh, from a job. They um, organize everything. So we decide to go or not. In my case, in my group, we, we went to to plant some trees. Yes. Oh, okay. That's nice. Very, very nice. That That is a, a very nice initiative. Okay, very yes. good. Yeah. Okay, what about the others? What did you do? What did the other people do on the weekend? Nothing. You didn't do anything special? No? Nobody did anything special on the weekend. Really? You didn't. I, um, went on a tour. I went on a tour with my daughter. Ooh, nice. What tour? I went to um, La Laguna Verde. And it La was beautiful because the weather was nice, it was cloudy, and. and Almost raining. Mm. It was beautiful. Okay, okay, good, good. I'm glad you I'm glad you had a, a good time there with your daughter. Excellent. Yeah. That sounds that sounds very beautiful actually. Okay, good. Anybody else had something interesting on the weekend? Really? Nothing interesting. You didn't go, I don't know, you didn't go to a party or you didn't go shopping or to see the, uh, to the movie theater. Nothing of the sort? No, really. Mirna, did you do anything? Anything like that? Hello, teacher. Ah, no, teacher, nothing special. Just mm -hmm. with my kids and try to organize everything for the week. No, nothing special. Did Just took a rest. Yeah. Did you watch a movie with your with your family? Oh, yeah, but at home. <laughs> but that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. No, but no, nothing no. special. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. the same routine that every weekend that we have with my kids. <laughs> what, what, what kind of, um, it, what, 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 what movie did you see? Oh, just uh, like a 
de Minions or just kids movies. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's always nice. It's nice to, to watch something with the family. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Enjoy That's good. with them a lot. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, what about you, Juan Carlos? Did you do anything interesting on the weekend? No. Um, the, the weekend I, I spent in the workshop <laughs> because the Friday I, I had problem with my car and I spent it in, in the workshop. Mm -hmm. Oh, in, in the body shop? In the workshop, uh, at the taller, the vehicle. Uh -huh, but it's que el uh, workshop to this taller, pero de, de trabajo. O sea, tra uh, oh, taller, okay. como cuando uno tiene un entrenamiento. That's a workshop. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, is... so yeah. either it would be at mechanics or at the body shop. It depends on oh, okay. on what 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 it is like. If it's um if it's a mechanical job, then it'd be at the mechanics. Mm -hmm. If it's like a aesthetics, then I'd be at the body shop. Oh, okay, okay. It's repairing my car. Mm -hmm. So so what were you repairing? The 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 mechanical part or the aesthetics? Mechanical part. Okay, so mechanical. then you said I was at the mechanics. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't sound too fun, I guess, huh? But um, yeah, at least you'll have your car. That's the important thing. Okay. What about the rest of you? Nothing else to tell? Sigfrido? Not a lot. Was uh, another weekend. Another weekend. As usual. <laughs> what what what's your usual weekend? Because I don't know. Um, house, house working. I clean the house, clean the oh. clothes, cleaning mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. was your so you act, you actually do house, housework, because <laughs> most uh, of us we we say we say oh yeah well um you know I can't wait for the week I'll, on the weekend I'll I'll do it. And then on the weekend, the weekend comes and then we're just too tired and we don't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, you actually do it. For me, and I think for a lot of people, it's like to do the things that you kind of do in a normal weekend and also mm -hmm. some rest. Mm -hmm. I sleep a couple of hours more and so mm -hmm. on. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, guys. Well, um, we are going to start with um, the attendance. Okay, so please um, turn on your camera so that um, we can see you when you are saying present. Okay. Um, Okay, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Ana Lorena Lovato. Eh, Carlos Alberto Domingos. Present. Excellent. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar, caballero. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Ulises Torres Soros. Ulises Torres Torres. Um, Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. 
Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, Miss. Thank you. José Carlos Argueta Romero. Present, Miss. Thank you. José Salvador Hello. Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Excellent, thank you. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Thank you. Um, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Presentation. Okay, wonderful. Mane Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Pérez Mejía. Peraza, teacher. Present. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Peraza. Um, thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Osman Enrique Hernández. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Mirna Elizabeth Albeninga Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Irma Present, Evelyn. Teacher. Okay. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. And Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. She's not here. She's with me. Migraine. Oh. Oh. I hope she um, gets better. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, guys, so that is all for our attendance. Okay, so um, we are going to start our class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Sorry, I, I missed who said good evening. Ya no vi quien. Who said good evening? Okay, sorry, I was wasn't able to see who it was. Okay, uh, so um, we are going to start our class. with uh, these questions. Okay. So what is an um what is an example of subordinates using emotions to manipulate others? So subordinates, do you you're familiar with this word now? Are you familiar with this word, subordinates? Yeah? Yes or no? Okay, well, let me explain then because it sounds like you're not. Okay, so subordinates are the people that um, are under the supervision of another person. So like we have the boss, okay? So the boss is like up here. 
subordinates are under the boss. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, yeah? yes. Okay, good. Um, all right. Um, what is emotional intelligence? Okay, so just discuss what you understand by emotional intelligence. And if you don't understand anything, that's okay. You can also say. And is it a helpful skill when dealing with conflicts? So is having emotional intelligence a helpful skill when you're dealing with the conflicts? Are these questions clear for you? Yeah, more or less. Okay. So, um, all right. So, Uncle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Sorry, teacher. Dealing is like a deal. Yeah. No, no. Dealing is, in this no. case, is like handling. Handle. Oh, okay. You, you understand handle? Handle. Yeah. 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 Okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, um, I am going to be sending you in the WhatsApp group these questions so that you have them at hand. Okay. Um, I just sent the picture right now. Did you get it? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. So what I want you to do then is I'm going to put you into groups, small groups, and you. I would like you to discuss these questions in your group. The idea with putting you guys in small groups is for you to... Um, be able to share your opinion freely within your group because it's a small group. Um, so here I understand that sometimes it's a little challenging. It's a, it's a bit sometimes uh, it can be, what's the word? Um, intimidating, I guess, sometimes uh, when you have a big amount of people um, and, you know, everybody's listening to you and maybe you're a little self-conscious and you're afraid you're going to make mistakes and that I completely understand. Actually, I'll tell you something. Um, I know like some people don't, don't um, believe me, but I'm actually a very shy person myself. So if I was not the teacher, it, I would probably be the one that was like, you know, not hiding in the back and not saying anything, you know, because I don't like to have the spotlight on me. But, um, but you know, um, you got to start somewhere, right? And um, you got to learn to to be able to communicate with other people. And and the more you you try, and you get you get better at it. So that's the idea with the small groups for you guys to have an opportunity of participating in smaller groups so that you feel less intimidated, right? And um, it also helps us because we can all participate in a big classroom. But if you're in small groups, then it's easier for everybody to have, to have a turn, okay? So please, I want you when when I when I get into the groups, I want to hear everybody participating in giving your answers and giving your opinions. And there's no right or wrong answers, okay? So don't feel that oh my answer is not going to be good enough. You know there are no wrong answers. Um, it's just your opinions, and that's 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 okay. All right. So let's make groups. Okay, just a moment. 
Uh -oh, I'm going to have a hard time with this. Hold on. Give me one moment. Okay, there it is. Okay, do you have any questions before I put you into breakout rooms? Do you have questions that you want to ask me? Not for the moment. Not for the moment? Anybody? Questions? Okay, I'm open in the room then. Okay. You and me and work, Emerson. <laughs> that's that's okay. Okay. Well, what did you think about the question? Okay. For pay, for parts, what is an example to subordinate using emotion to manipulate manipulate others? Mm -hmm. Interesting question. Yes, it is. Um, for example, in my job, usually the co-worker using the the situation, your emotional in your healing, for example, for example, and no. And no real and unmotivated no realization the activity the activity in the responsibility of the co-worker. And other other co-worker uh, and view the situation and, and accept and responsibility the, the activity the other the other uh, co-worker and the in other moment no problem no Mm, the situation is very relaxing <laughs> and it's very complicated. This is the example in this moment, remember. And you? Well, I think uh, the way they will try to manipulate other people is when you, you make Make C. Rafael, huh? you are you are uh, you are a manager um, or boss? Uh, am I a manager? No, I am a coordinator. Okay. Yes. I coordinate the warehouse. Oh. The spare parts department. Uh, of my 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 job. Okay. And and in my position I I can see some people uh, when they don't want work. They, um, they, they use uh, excuses for don't work. For example, um, persons who, who has uh, physical problems, uh, they they say uh, I have that problem uh, and I need 
to go to the doctor, um, something like that. For example, and, Estoy el área. and I don't know is if if the if the problem is is real. Okay. That case uh, was very common uh, in the pandemic situation. Well, Mauricio Velasquez, I don't know if you want to share any experience or any feedback about that situation. Uh, in my case, I had a co-worker that he, he asked for help, uh, but to do some things that are tasks, uh, daily tasks, but he always used to look like a victim, like uh, the, the other person leave, the, leave him the hardest tasks. So at in the end, everybody help him. But when you you know every everyone knew him, like how how was he acting? We just leave him. We didn't bring any kind of help to him. And after that, he he was saying to everyone that. All the people hate 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 him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was very complicated with that attitude. Attitude. Yes, and for the second one, um, what do you think about uh, emotional intelligence? I am agree with with you, with both of you. Uh, we um. Uh, controlling the way that the feelings but I I I am going to add just one more thing that if you if you don't feel good you have yeah. to recognize and look what is emotional intelligence it's a helpful it's a helpful skill when dealing with conflicts Mm. I think it is something that to to manipulate the other person, no? Yeah, and we're it's helpful and, and, and try to avoid. It. Yeah, so, it's helpful. It's helpful for to avoid the conflicts. The the uh, the takes decision. Yeah, it's basically like cold head. Do not involve your emotions or sentiments to take decisions. If you need to do something, man, you need to do it. <laughs> um, doesn't care your feelings. For example, and it's a truth, your feelings are a bad deal. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, you're taking decisions with your feelings, but you will regret about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I mean, the, the emotional uh, skills, I, I think, is um, always, always useful. And because, for example, when, when the people do a new, a new movie, they use the emotional on, on us uh, because they remember maybe something in the past was amazing. So Ray, they took that idea, that idea again and made the film, and that um, people that see maybe the like a Mario Bros. So maybe you played Mario Bros. when you were a child. So they did the movie 
And I remember, oh, when I was a child, I played that game. So I want to see that movie. And they, I, they use them all for that case. And I think it's useful in, in all ways. Was. Yes, in a in a good way. Mm -hmm. Not only to manipulate others. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Explain for me. Okay, Jose. Emotional intelligence is an difficult ability. Ability. And understand the emotion of people around us. When other people are about we have the capacity tener empatía empath empathy empathy yeah, empathy it's mm. so <laughs> you said what was the the word that you wanted to to use empatía say jose empathy no <laughs> empathy empathy yeah, empathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 an emotion, it's an emotional intelligence, empathy, and maybe motivations for others. And I think that helpful with when the lining with conflict that if you have empathy with other is 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 it is help you with is it help you a skill and when the line with conflict because you you put in other shoes and try to solve and try to feel that the other person feel when when they are when they are in in a conflict maybe or or the emotions too that if you have uh, emotion and you feel that the other people think and and the other people do you if, if you can help with with them i think that this is a emotional intelligence is is i think that help Health. Yes, I agree with you. I think um, you are in the business of the conduct conducting customer satisfaction surveys. Yeah. You have a lot of experience with the difficult clients. Hmm. I'm already I'm already spilling in my job. <laughs> <laughs> It's very interesting. Uh, for example, in the in the afternoon, and the customer shall be very angry for delivery the product, um, and I and and arrive at the store, uh, build my office, then and in this moment, and I speak, uh, the final the your your exposition, exposition, exposition your your problem. Uh, uh, what's the the solution? And the idea of customer uh, relax and very happy. 
uh, no angry for moment I by the store very angry you and this moment uh, it's important manage the emotion right and the listener the customer is that your expression your problem your angry and th this moment your expression um uh, you're angry uh, a, a little a little uh your more your molest and they finish uh, you relax and today solution the problem this is long, this this is the import important in this moment yes. and my co-worker and my co-worker uh, no participation um, uh, this is on lado and no 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 opinion because uh, due to the customer very angry your emotion no no your no no supo manejarlo very very interesting the situation in the afternoon so difficult there yeah. is a uh, all type of the customers that's yeah. right this is a very uh, every day, every day in my job. <laughs> <laughs> in the society, that puts yeah. me in emotion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's very helpful to know it about it. Yeah. Are you guys uh, ready or do you need more time? Yes, miss. Already. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, so I will, um, I will uh, return you to the main room. Okay. 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 All right, guys and girls. Um, so tell me. Um, I, well, I'm I'm hoping everybody had a chance, right? Um, to to discuss. Yes. Yeah. I I think I gave you enough time, and this that's what I'm hoping that I give you enough time for for you guys to discuss you needed to um okay um so it, so let's discuss it as a class okay um just a second just a moment Okay, please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Oh, no, that's not it. Sorry. It's the other one. There you go, this one. Yes, I can see it. Okay, perfect. So, um, what is an example of subordinates who use an emotional, sorry, emotions to manipulate others? Mm 
we talk with the uh, husband uh, mm -hmm. the way we'll try to manipulate others is when they feel attacked when you when when you are made to see that they are made a mistake in an activity assigned to them for example an activity assigned to them okay all right mm -hmm. um and can you give me an example of what they would do? Well, uh, we talked uh, about the the situation when the in the case in this case, uh, just explain me mm -hmm. when the client is hungry, when the delivery is is not a read of time, and uh, some some co-workers prefer don't participate in the in the solutions and be a part in situation mm -hmm. okay all right good very good thank you for sharing emerson okay, okay. any other examples that you could give when a subordinate uses emotion to for manipulation No, and just, just share what you have, what you what you talked about in your groups. That's it. Come on, don't be shy. Come on, just sharing. It, there's no right or wrong answer, so you don't have to worry about being right and perfect uh, in, in my case means the yeah. i i had experience with a co-worker in the past like um uh, i don't know he tries he he act, acted like a victim when some of the bosses gave him some orders so if you didn't know him uh, he asks ask you for help, but uh, in the end you finish doing all the all the all the all the work. Um, so uh, um, it, it, I don't know, but he he manipulates you like looking like I can't. Uh, it is very hard for me. I have the hardest job in here. Some some kind of those commentaries so you you feel sad bad and you help him but when you notice he disappeared <laughs> and mm. he was uh, losing time mm. okay okay so um so he would he would um he would make himself like um incapable of doing the job. Yes. Okay. Okay. And making him, you feel sorry for him that he's not able to do the job. Okay. Yes. When when all of all of us knew how how he moved us, we didn't help him anymore. And after that he started to act like all of us where the bad guys mm. yeah yeah that's that's quite typical mm -hmm. okay okay what about the rest of you have you have you have ever had like an a personal experience of subordinates using emotions to manipulate mm, teacher we talked in our work but I think that the is when you have a fall, for example, the example that we saw that the the girl that have a have a mistake in their report or some report, and the other people using this this fall for try to to talk with you behind your your back with your boss or with your others co-worker, for example, and they try to to discredit our jobs, yeah, they try to 
to say that your job is bad or something like that because they need to upgrade yeah or they need to upgrade uh, other position something like that is i think that is is normal in the in the job this situation because mm -hmm. um, um because we have a different kinds and kinds people and kinds mind that in kind in different kinds that um, competitions that we have in in our jobs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay thank you Mirna I appreciate mm -hmm. um very good um okay all right what about the next question what is emotional intelligence and again no no right or wrong answer I just I want to know what you understand by emotional intelligence. And if you don't know, it's okay too. It's the way that you manage your feelings or you control your emotions. Okay. Okay, good, thank you. What about the um, the others? What What do you say? What is emotional intelligence? Well, um, today is 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 a uh, very necessary in the work. It's a uh, for me is a uh, as a uh, very necessary soft skill in the work. Necessary soft skill. Okay, good, good, good. The others, what do you say? For example, teacher is when your job, um, when your job, when your boss, sorry, when your boss using that emotional intelligence like um, motivation, empathy, is this is this, this is the the emo I I think I understand that this is kind of emotional intelligence that you can use in your in your job for motivate others or for. Uh, the empathy with others. Okay. Um, I understand that this is emotional intelligence, but I I don't know if this is the the emotional intelligence. Okay. All right. No. Yeah. That's good. 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 All right. Um. And is it helpful? Uh, is it a helpful skill when dealing with conflicts? You think emotional health is is our emotional intelligence is uh, helpful when you have a conflict? Yes, definitely. I think that is helpful when you use that emotional intelligence according that the that the that the people say. Yeah, I think that's helpful. Yeah, definitely. How? How? How is it helpful? Uh, when we use in the, the emotional uh, in some discussion or maybe in, in some situation, we can avoid some conflicts. Uh, we can uh, just, uh, for example, if the, your boss knows you have maybe uh, a lot of problems in your family, Maybe something like that, because you tell you told her or told him before, and uh, maybe two three weeks later, uh, your boss tried to talk with you and he wants to give you uh, I don't know regaño mm, to um, 
uh, to tell you off, you can say. Okay, uh, try to tell me off. Uh, so we we can use the the previous uh situation, the conflicts in the house, and maybe uh, boss, I have a lot of problems in my house. My wife is is trying to me so bad, and I have bad days, and I can't sleep, and something like that. And maybe you can touch her his hurt. And okay, we can talk later, something like that, and avoid uh, the uh, el regaño. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, very good, very good. Anything else? How do you think it would be helpful? Any ideas of how it could be helpful to have emotional intelligence? Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna have a conversation. We're, we're sorry, no, we're not gonna have a conversation. We're gonna read a conversation. Um, I've got a conflict here. And we're going to see, we're going to talk about if there was any emotional intelligence in this conflict conversation. So um, I want you to listen and, um, and repeat after me. Let me retrieve your file. Let me retrieve your file. Everybody, let me retrieve your file. Let me, let me retrieve, retrieve your, file. your file. Okay. This is your fifth month in the company, right? This is this your, your fifth month in the company, in the company right? right. right. <laughs> yes, if you don't take the training into account, it is. Yes. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter. Well, well it seems your quality, 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 quality score, score this quarter. This quarter. It's very low. It's very low. Very low. Very low. Let's look at it carefully. And find out your areas of opportunity. And find and out your areas, your areas of opportunity. Of opportunity. Of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. It's my, it's my manager's, manager's, manager's fault. fault. If he had been more helpful, if he if had been, had been more, more, helpful, helpful. more helpful, I would have had a better score. I, I would have, have had, had a better score. score. Don't worry, Mike. Don't, Don't worry, Mike. Mike. I will be retrie sorry, reviewing. I will, I will be, be reviewing. reviewing. The evaluation with your manager. The, the evaluation, evaluation with, with your, your manager. 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 And provide your feedback. And provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure out, or figure, sorry, we only need to figure. So, so we only, only need, need to figure, figure, figure how to help you with quality. How to help you with quality. 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 
But sir. But sir. But sir. But sir. My team is so unhelpful. My team, My is, team so is also unhelpful. unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, if they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer. I have known how to answer to customer issues. The customer's issues. The customer issues. Remember, Mike. Remember, Mike. Remember, Mike. That our job requires constant preparation. That our, our job requires constant preparation. preparation. <laughs> Sorry, I got lost. And a lot of reading. Oh, thank you. And a lot of reading. And you would have gotten a higher score. You, you would have, have gotten, gotten a higher score, higher score or, if you had been updated. If you had you been, updated, been updated, updated on recent procedures. On on recent recent procedures. procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Have you, you been reading the new manuals? Er, I. Er, uh, er, er, I. No, sir. I haven't. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I, I haven't. haven't. Sir, I haven't. I haven't. They are boring. They are boring. boring. They're boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation. The then let's finish, finish checking, checking your evaluation. And then I will get you through. And, and then, then I, I will get you through. through. With the training department. With the, With the training, training department. department. So they can give you. So they can, so they give, can, you. Give, they you. can give you. An interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent. All right. So um let's talk about pronunciation. If you like, you can write in the chat any words that you don't understand. The pronunciation of the words. Yeah. Retrieve, let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month. You can write in the chat. Mm -hmm. Nothing? Okay. So remember, this is, I'm asking about um, the pronunciation, right? Okay, so right now we're just, we're not dealing with vocabulary, the meaning of vocabulary words, but we're just the pronunciation. Um, let me just, just give me a bit of time because I'm trying to, it's, it's a long conversation, so I'm trying to figure out where the words are.
Anything else? Mm -hmm. Nothing else? All right, so let's practice. Retrieve. Everybody, retrieve. Retrieve. Everybody, retrieve. 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 Mm-hmm. Good. Um, reviewing. 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 Figure. 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 Through. 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 Um, that's it. Okay, good. All right, now let's um talk about vocabulary that you don't understand. Words that are unclear for you, but the meaning. Retrieve. Okay, you can write in the chat. Anything else? No, that's the only word that you're not sure of? Okay, all right. Um, Okay, so retrieve means to obtain, to get. Okay, so it means like like when you're searching for something and um, you're going to go and get it. Retrieve. Okay, does that make sense? <coughs> Um, I don't know, is like retroalimentation of the show? Mm, no, no. Like a recover? Uh, kinda. Uh, retrieve means to go get, to up, go and obtain, to search and find and, and get it. Okay. Okay. So in Spanish, how would you what would you say that is in Spanish? Mm, recuperar. Mm. Obtener. Yeah, yeah. It it means more like obtener. Um. Um. Conseguir. Yeah. More like conseguir, right? So, so it means like when you say conseguir, means like that you're looking for something and you obtain it. It's not just casually it, 
it came to you. It means that you were actually um, actively looking for something. Okay. Okay. How do you translate the, the first sentences with retrieve of the conversation? Déjame yes. obtener el archivo. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, or déjame conseguir. Déjame cons um, conseguir el archivo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's it. That's the only word. Everything else is clear. Uh, true. The last sentences have word. Oh, through. Through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so th this has many meanings. But in this context, it says, I will get you through with the uh, trading department. Um, it means that um, I will connect you. I will make, make the connection. Okay, like uh, okay. to get through um, or to put through means to make a connection. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is I'd like you to practice this um, conversation with your partner. Um, so I'm going to be putting you guys into breakout rooms and I'm going to try to get you to uh, work with a partner or um, with um, yeah, just maybe maximum like two people so that you guys can have a chance of practicing. And one time you will be Edward, the other time you will be Mike. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay. I'm sending you in the group, the conversation, and it should have arrived by now. You should have it now. Okay, um, so I'll put in you in breakout rooms. If there is somebody that does not have a partner, please, um, like, if for whatever reason you end up in a group where your partners are not available or not there, don't just stay there doing nothing. Ask for help so that I know that you don't have a partner and I can move you, okay, to with another group. All right? Okay? Yes, teacher. All right. Here we go then, let's open the rooms. Eh, José Carlos. Mm. 
Hello. Hello, Miss. Hi. What happened? Hi, what happened? Sorry, try to open the mushroom. Uh, so you're okay? You, you don't have any questions? Yes, Emerson, Mauricio. You want to practice? I am ready. Let me see. Okay, you can choose a row. Hello. Hello. What is, what is the number of page? Sorry. Can you hear you? Is there anything I can help you with, guys? No rains. I have found the fish. Okay. All right. I'm going to start. Uh, let me receive, retrieve, retrieve your fields. This is your fits moms in the company, right? You said you said you were Edward or Mike? I am Edward. Okay, Edward. nice. Go ahead. Let's start it. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fit mom in the company, right? Yes, if you don't Okay, here I go again. Yes, if you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it's in your quality score. This quarter is very low. Let's look at it careful and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a very square. Uh, don't worry, Mike. I will re I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Two handle times are excellent, so we only need to figure out how to help you with a quality. How to help you with quality. But, sir, my team is also mm, helpful. If they had listened to my questions, would have known how to answer the customer's issues. Mm, remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. 
you will have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, um, no, sir. I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and um, and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my money or fault. If it had been more helpful, I would have I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure out how to help you with the quality. But sir, my team is so helpful, unhelpful. If they had had listener, no, sorry. If they had listened to my questions, I will had no hope to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, uh, I know, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation. And then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thanks, man. Uh, teamwork. Yeah. Do you guys have questions? No, did you not really? No? Okay. No. All right. Keep on practicing. I'm going to go and look at the other groups. My team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a hair score if you had been updated or recent procedures. 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 Have you been reading the new manual? Uh, I know, sir. I haven't. They are boring. <laughs> then let's finish checking your evaluation and they will get your through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay, thank you. Okay. That's all, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Um, any questions? Mm, could be the meaning of "I'm helpful" is uh, inutile, inservible. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, it's really difficult to say unhelpful. It's, uh, it's, it's something that doesn't work properly. Not, it's just something that doesn't give you much of a help. Okay. Um, it's, in, in this case, it's more like, no fueron de mucha ayuda. Inutile. <laughs> no, not necessarily. It, it, not, not necessarily. Um, it just means that um, that they didn't help you, right? They 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 oh. didn't mm -hmm. they didn't give you the help that you needed. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, could be could be the the meaning that I provide you. 
It could, it could, but um, but not really. In the what he what he means is he's not saying ah eran inservibles, o sea no eh, no sirven para nada. No, it's not like that. It's more <laughs> yeah, no, it's more like um no me ayudaron. Uh, okay. Okay. Does that okay. make sense? I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Yeah. So he the, he's he's trying to say you know basically oh um you know I things I didn't do well because other people were supposed to help me and they didn't help me. That's basically what he's saying. Okay. 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 I got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So basically, he's blaming other people. In in, okay. in in short, yeah, he's that's what he's doing. He's he's blaming other people for for what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, uh, any any questions? Any other questions? I don't know if I'm, I am wrong, but he's blaming other people, but he in the when when Edward asked him if he read the new procedures, you notice that he's acting like a victim, right? Or am I wrong? No. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. That 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 is the way that he manipulates the situations. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much exactly. Okay, all right. So we're going to um bring you back to the main room. Okay, uh, and I'll see you there. Okay, okay, Tish. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, so, we, so we all had a chance to read um, this conversation. Um, so do we understand what's going on in this conversation? What's, what's happening? What's really happening? I understand Edward is uh, uh, evaluate the, the score. Mm -hmm. Mike is uh, uh, in charge of the review, the, the evaluation. Yes. In help for increase your, your score. I, I understand. Yes, you're you're right. Yes, he's he's evaluating it. Okay. Anything else that you've noticed about this conversation? What's happening? I think, teacher, that the problem is that the 
that that might need a training or they need to remember the the the, the manual. You need to remember the manual. But it's boring. Yes. Yeah, but he need to he need to it's train it to yeah, he need to train for improve the, the score. If not, it's impossible. <laughs> Okay. Yes, it's part maybe of change the, the attitude. Obligation. Yeah, it's the obligation that the company maybe he need to change the attitude for for change the score. Maybe. Okay. Oh, he 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 needs to to <laughs> to study the manual because if he want to keep in the uh, his job, he have yeah. to do what they have to do. Mm -hmm. It's not a choice. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this. Okay, so this is a conversation. Um, okay, so looking at the conversation, let's see if we can uh, complete these sentences according to the conversation. So, if he okay. huh? have been had been good. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, good. If he had been more helpful, I will have had would have had good i would have had a better score next if they if they had if they had listen listened they had listened to my questions they had listened to my questions i would have known would have known would have known how to answer the customer's issues. Okay, I would have known how to answer the customer's issues. By the way, you understand issues? Like a problems. Yeah. Yeah. Troubles. Yeah, problems, troubles, sure. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the idea. Next, number three. If you would have gotten, would have gotten, if you would have gotten, um, I'm sorry, you would have, sorry, you would have gotten, you would have gotten a higher score if you had been. Updated. Had been updated on recent procedures. All right. Yes. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, all right. So before we go on and, and talk a little bit more about this, um, do you think that, what do you think is the problem really behind Mike and Edward's conversation? What do you think is the real problem?
I think Mike uh, don't want to take the responsibilities and avoid to read the manuals and the procedures. And the procedures, so. Mm -hmm. Right. So he, he's avoiding responsibility. And because he's avoiding responsibility, what is he doing? They need to a, a constant preparation in, in her jobs. Right. But what what is what is Mike doing? Um what is he saying in in, in, in general? What is he saying? What what is the feeling that you get from from Mike? The feeling that his boss or his manager is the fault is the manager he feel mm -hmm. because he need more help than his manager. Just the manager? The manager. No, no, no. The All team. The, All team. Yeah. the whole team. Hmm. Not just the manager, the whole team. He's what avoid the responsibility, only that. <laughs> yeah, so what he's doing is he's blaming others. Blame others, yeah. blame, blame others. Yeah, he's blaming yes. others for for his his faults, right? So um, he's not, he's never, he never takes responsibility. He never says, oh, yes, you're right. It's, you know, I, I should have done better. Um, yes, I could have done this. No, he's always saying it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. Right? Do you know people like this? <laughs> yes, my boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Do you know yes, anybody like it's, this? It's hard. It's hard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's typical situation in, mm -hmm. in the jobs. Yeah. Yeah, so this is actually very common, right? Lots of people, uh, I mean, it's it's the majority of the people will not take responsibility. And they, yeah. you know, they will not say, yes, you're right. I, I, I could have done this better. You know, I, I know I need to work on this. Mo most people will always blame it on other people. Oh, I didn't do well because he didn't do this. He didn't do that. She didn't help me. She did this. She did that. But rarely will they say, I didn't do this. I should have done this and I didn't. Or I did do this and I shouldn't have done it. Right? So this is... Do you think this is emotional intelligence? Yes. Is this emotional intelligence? Yes, yes. Yes? Is it emotional intelligent to do this? To be blaming other people? Are you showing- It's emotional, but in negative. Yes, in a negative, so, negative way. Way. So, is this emotional intelligence? No, miss. No, intelligent. No. <laughs> emotional intelligence. No. Not really, right? Mm -mm. No. no, definitely not. And um, as I was hearing, I don't remember who said this. It might is um. He's what he's doing is he's manipulating. He's trying to manipulate, trying to look and make himself look like the victim. Like, oh, poor me, poor me that I I I, I didn't get uh, I didn't get the help I needed, and that's why I did so bad, you know. So he's trying to he's trying he's playing the victim. And he's trying to play with people's emotions. Now, my question is, is Edward buying it? Is he, does he believe Mike? Does he, is he, is he being manipulated by him?
What do you think? Can you repeat the question? So, Mike is definitely trying to manipulate the mm -hmm. emotions, right? Yes. Is is Edward letting himself be manipulated? Do you, does he believe it? No, no, Edward don't believe it. Don't believe him. Yes, Edward try to focus just in Mike and mm -hmm. what Mike have to do or what Mike doesn't do. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And exactly. he tried to help him. He tried to help Mike because he said, I'm going to check in your evaluation. I will get you through with the, the, the training department. I'm going mm -hmm. to send the digital copy. He tried to help him. And not only digital copy, it's interactive digital copy. So it's not just only read, it's just he tried to manipulate it a little bit just to be easier to him, write mm -hmm. it and, and, and learn and learn. So yes, exactly. So he's he's been very um uh reasonable, right? He's been very reasonable. Um, he's not letting Mike manipulate him, but instead he's trying to find a solution, right? He's trying to find some way that then Mike can feel like they are helping him because Mike's saying, oh, they never helped me. Okay. So then Edward's like, okay, here is me. I am helping you. Here I am. I will help you, but you also have to do your part. Okay, all right. So what do you think, you personally? Are you emotionally intelligent? What do you think? Are you emo emotionally intelligent? For Edward, yes. Edward using emotional intelligence. No, no, you, you, personally. Oh. <laughs> Are you emotionally intelligent? What do you say? No, I don't think so. No? No. Really? Why not? Yes. Why do you say that? Um, I think uh, the better way to improve some skill is when the other person gives you some feedback and tells you what is the real problem that we have. So if you don't know what is the problem with the procedures that you make or maybe the way that you set the, the, the things, so you will never improve your your way to say this, the things or the way you make some uh, work or responsibility in your job. So if nobody tells you, you will do everything in the same way all the time. So for that reason, I don't try to, to avoid the conflict with the emotional intelligence because uh, I don't want to look like a, oh, poor guy, or poor of them. No. If you do something bad, you have to be brave and take it. Just take it. Okay. That is my opinion, right? Yeah, and that's fair, right? Like I said, I always say there's no right or wrong answers here. Okay. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is the following. I'm going to put you back into your breakout rooms, which had about three people, at least, in the group. And I'm going to be, actually, let me let me send it to, to you by this group. I'm going to, in the chat, I'm going to be sending you some PowerPoints, some slides, okay? <coughs>
Please tell me if you are able to see the slides. Are you able to see them? Yes. Yeah. Okay, can you please download those pictures because um, if you, they're, they're probably going to disappear when we when I send you to the breakout room. So please download them. Okay, you have it? Did you download them? Did you download it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to be sending you to the breakout rooms. And what I want you to do is um, you are going to take turns reading each slide, okay? So there should be about three people in the group. So each person should be able to read uh, one of the slides. Okay, sounds good? Yes. Okay, hold on, let me, okay, let's let's do something. I'm, I'll send you guys the information in the, in the WhatsApp group, okay? So, because apparently some people are having trouble downloading it from here so let me ju just give me a moment and send it to you in the whatsapp group sorry my computer is stuck so i couldn't download it but oh, it's okay i finish i already finished thank you okay it's okay <laughs> uh I'm, I'm gonna send it to you anyway okay because um i think that you should just in case, I mean, this could, this could happen to another person too, so. Okay. <laughs> so you have it in your in your computer and um, you also have it in the whatsapp so it should be okay all right so i'm going to open up the breakout rooms and then you can you can um read it and please read it out loud that the idea with this is to read it out loud Okay. Um, okay. All right, so here we go. Let's open the groups. Okay, you guys okay, ready to read? 
Just be ready. Okay, good. Um, there is uh, uh, three different slices, right? Who want to read cares? When I start, that's okay. Okay. Ten signs that they have emotional intelligence for today's job market. Brian Reeves, Robinson, PhD. AQ, do you know AQ? No. UIQ, no hub concept. Some employers believe that emotional intelligence weakened, weakened is a value even more valuable. Emotional intelligence is a, a, is the available available to a currently identified, understand and manage your own emotions and those of others. The World Economic Forum rank emotional intelligence as one of the top skills need to excel at the world. The Mike Kinsel group identifies the need for social and emotional skills to grow at a much faster pace, pacing cognitive skill and expert assert that these soft skills are essential to success in today's global market. Josh Millet, founder and CEO of the Criteria Corp, is one of those business leaders who believe emotional intelligence is increasingly viewing as a critical and a strategic ability for the modern for words, workforce. Okay, I continue the next picture. The benefit of emotional intelligence. In practical terms, people with well-developed emotional intelligence can create and manage relationships more effectively. Millet told me by mail, they can work well with others, regulate their emotions appropriately, understand how others are feeling and influence and inspire people. Many researchers Positive, positive interpersonal relationships, such as leadership or self role, role that require emotional resilience, like a health care or emerging response, or where emotional lab, labor, uh, managing feeling and emotional doom maintain a job or relationship is central to the world war. How to know if you have a AE? But is emotional intelligence actual quality quantifiable? How are employers evaluating the friendly friendliness, personality, and sociability of workers before they, they even see they interact with others. My let's say typical, typical and affective is, is used because jobs seeker aren't always Good judge, judge, 
of their own emotional based abilities and tendencies, they may be prone to select the answer that they believe in will be most impressive rather than the most accurate answer. answer. Thus, as general, rule with them to ever it or all self awareness. He city research in the Harvard business review showing that in 95% of the same reason standardized objects assessment are the best measurement of emotional intelligence. Really hard. Okay. Un montón de vocabulario. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel my tongue on that, man. <laughs> we identify a lot of words that create confusion in us. Yes, in this case, a lot of words, I don't know what is the meaning, man. Maybe I think a little Which bit word? Idea, but word? I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> Which word? <laughs> the percent of the of all. <laughs> but maybe because we haven't never seen together, we have been seen in another scenario, but not together. So those words together create confusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was my opinion because I remember I had I have been seeing this work, but never together like this. Mm. Maintain, yeah. maintaining, ma maintaining, maintaining, maintenance, maintaining. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what is this. Uh, em the roles that require emotional resilience. I think Re resilience. No, this, know, is, that? this is a new word also in Spanish. Resilience yeah. is the way to adaptability to the new change. I didn't know that. <laughs> the other man, Fini, was on my team. Is in Trafalto. Yeah. And the other quantif quantifiable. No, no, but it's an emotional intelligence actually quant quantifiable. No, no, no. Quantifi I don't know how to what quantifiable, quantifiable, quantificable. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. quantificable. Okay, all right. The other one is free friendliness. Mm -hmm. So what I want, what you can do is circle um, words that you don't understand, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. Sounds good? Okay. 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 All right. I'm going to return you to the main room because our time is up and we need to take attendance, okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right, guys and girls, um, we are going to um, stop there today. And I know that you probably have a lot of questions about vocabulary and all, and I will answer those questions, but we'll have to do that tomorrow. Okay. So um, what you can do is like circle the words that you don't understand. Uh, that way, uh, tomorrow you can 
just very quickly ask me about those words and I can help you with them, okay? So we'll start with the attendance here. Um, Ana Lorena Lovato, Orellana. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Ulises Torres Torres. Ulises Torres Torres. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calde Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present Miss. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. And present, miss. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Mauricio Antonio. Thank you. Presentation. Great. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraz Mejía. Present. O Osman Enrique Hernández. Osman Enrique Hernández. Rafaela Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present teacher. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Cabara. Present teacher. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Uh, Amanda de Unela Zamora Miranda. Amal. Uh, no? Okay. Uh, all right. So today I just will stay with. Oh. Jose Carlos Argueta, I'm star, right? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so yes, then, uh, perfect, perfect. Okay, so it's your turn um, for the um, the one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, everybody else, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, Bye. so take Have care. Have a good night. Thank okay. you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye, Miss. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Sandra Vigail, are you there? Carlos Ernesto Hernández, are you there? Hello? Hello? Okay. 
All right, Carlos. Um, Jose Carlos, do you um, how are you doing? Do you have any questions? Anything that you want to ask about? Uh, yes, Miss. Maybe one of my question is the next. Um, I I believe that I am having some problems with mm -hmm. my my English. So, uh, for that situation, I guess I am having problems with past talking about past situation. So, if you can prepare any class from now on, only one class talking about the past progressive. For me, that would be really nice because that type of situation, I have some some issues to use. It. So I would be grateful if you prepare one class or one topic about the past progressive. The past progressive. Yes, hmm. I guess I have. I have some problem with that with that grammar. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't have any inconvenience um, about talking about the past the past progressive. I can definitely help you with that. Now, the only thing that I'm thinking is that. Um, at this point, we would be um, detouring from the topics seen in this course. Um, yes. So what we can do, if it's okay with you, how about if we leave it till the very end of our course, of our class, of our course, okay? So I can do that, no problem. Um, but let's do that towards like the end um, so that we have covered all of the information that we need to cover in this course so that we're not like taking up time like from this from the information that we need to see in this course um, and then when we have when we're sure that we have seen everything and that we have covered all the information that we need to for this course, we can do a review of that. Okay, I really understand you. Yeah. I hope we saw all the all the when you say the course, you are talking about the manual student. Right, because that is is something that like it's it's the requirement. Um that, that INSEFOR has for us, um, that we need to cover that. In so, and, and also because remember that um, the these exercises in the platform are based on the manual, right? So if we don't cover those topics, then I'm going to leave the other students without that knowledge to be able to complete the exercises. So um, if you don't mind, I will be more than happy to do that. Um, and we can do it like on the last day of our class. Okay, yeah, sound... like I, I will be waiting for. Okay, perfect. Um, and the rest for me, all is okay. For me, there's no problem. I, I love that most of the partners were participated in the chat room. For me to participate with Mirna and that's other guy that work in a call center because they are fluent and they they you interact when you enter to this group. So if there anything that you can when you are creating the small group, I will be more than happy if you join me to any group where where is Mirna, where is Carlos. Juan Carlos, and I don't remember the other one because there are another group that I just know that is not about you. Because, but for example, I don't want to 
to to Good make point. a mention for some person right but right. there are some groups that the people is off and and i am talking and nobody answer so i yeah. feel so false i sorry but that's my opinion and so i love it when you create groups where we interact i just know that it's not your fault because in the in the small group it's it's personal for each one right but sometimes we find people that don't want to participate unfortunately I, that is the case yes um well the groups when i when i make the group is actually i don't really do them manually i just uh it's uh it's automatically random. yeah it's random oh. so the oh. the um the zoom automatically just um okay. takes the people and just puts them into groups so if i say to the so so if i tell zoom okay i want uh seven groups then they're going to divide all the people into seven groups but oh. randomly so sometimes you will end up with people that um that you are going to be participating with a lot and that you know there's a discussion and other times unfortunately there will not be um maybe the people that you um that are you are that are very active in participation now what i can do though is okay. I will bring up that point before I put you guys into the breakout rooms. I'll remind everybody that it is everybody's responsibility to be practicing, to be participating. And because one, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a teamwork. So if you don't do your part, you affect other people. And, um, and also because it's everybody's, everybody committed to that, right? Everybody committed to participating. And so if we're just complying with what we decided, what we all said that we could do. Right? Okay. Yeah. So what, what that's, that's what I, what I can do. Um, and also, Jose Carlos, remember that, um, uh, this is a good opportunity as well like these these challenges that you may face with your group with your um, classmates it can also be um an opportunity for you to explore and expand your leadership skills so <laughs> yeah i mean yeah of course like there's always a chance to uh, turn a negative situation into something, in something positive. So if you notice that one of your classmates is not participating, call on them. Say, fulanito, what do you think about this? Ask them, or ask them a specific question that you think that they would, they would be interested in. Or like, okay. has this ever happened to you, fulanito? I tried this way. But sometimes they don't answer, but I'm going to try it again, again, and over again. Yeah, and sometimes they won't, and that's not your fault, right? That's not some, you you can't control what other people will or won't do. Um, but but at least you try, right? Okay. It, it's just like um, Edward, right? Edward and Mike. Um Mike, Mike was making lots of, of excuses and, you know, he was doing and saying, it's not my fault, you know, it's, it's because of this, it's because of that. And so all Edward could do was try to make things easy for my, uh, for, it was, it was right, it was Mike. Yes, yes, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, it was Mike. So it, he, all he could do was make things easy for Mike. Now, if Mike was not willing, even then, to do something about it, that was Edward's, it was out of his hands, right? So what was probably going to happen was Mike was going to end up being fired. And that's, that's that was no nowhere um, Edward's fault fault so the same thing with you like if if you try and you still don't get anywhere don't worry about it 
the important thing is that you try, right? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, and maybe some people will will be surprised. Some people may answer. So. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right. Well, um, was like, anything else I can help you with? Mm, that's it. That's it. Okay. All right. So okay. in that case, I will see you you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Take care. Okay. Good night. Good night.